Hello everyone, and welcome back to our channel. When you hear the word home, there's a sense of comfort and modesty that is evoked. And this is because the word means so much more. A home means an enjoyable, happy place where you can live, laugh, and learn. It's somewhere you are loved, respected, and cared for. But when you look at it from the outside, a home is just a house. But for most of us, it's not the size that matters, but the feeling of security that comes with it. But when it comes to billionaires, a home is a place they can spend most of their fortune, afford unimaginable luxuries, and flaunt their wealth. To own a house on this list, you'll need at least $390 million. So make sure to stick around until the end of this video to find out which house comes in at number one. And without further ado, here are the 10 most ridiculous billionaire homes in the world. The 10th most ridiculous home on this list is 4 Fairfield Pond, United States. $249 million. Located along the oceanfront position in Sagaponic, New York, with 39 bathrooms, 29 bedrooms, multiple squash, tennis, and baseball courts, and bowling alleys, and a giant 31-foot-long formal dining room, the sprawling estate is considered to be one of the largest residential properties in the entire U.S., having its own power plant on site, and requires upkeeping with numerous house staff. The ninth most ridiculous home on this list is Le Palais Boule, Théo sur Mer, France, $390 million. This building was designed by Hungarian architect Antti Lavag and built around 1975 to 1989. The 13,000 square foot home has 29 rooms, including 10 bedrooms and 11 baths. The villa has its private outdoor auditorium that can seat 500 people. The bubble palace features a series of round rooms that spill down a rocky cliff overlooking the Mediterranean Sea. It was reported that Antti Lavag was inspired by man's earliest dwellings in caves. The seaside estate is not short on modern comforts, featuring three swimming pools, several gardens, and a 500-seat auditorium on the hillside grounds. Le Palais Boule is currently used for glamorous events. The eighth most ridiculous home on this list is the $400 million penthouse at the Tour Odeon Monte Carlo, Monaco. The opulent and shiny 49-story Tour Odeon building is one of the most ridiculous billionaire homes in the world, with 35,500 square feet, five main bedrooms, and three staff bedrooms. Opened in spring of 2015, the 35,500 square foot home is listed for $400 million. The 49-story concrete and glass tower called La Tour Odeon took five years to build and is now the principality's highest building. The five-floor penthouse has been prospectively put on the market for $400 million, or thereabouts. Developed by the group Marzocco, designed by the Monegasque architect Alexandri Giraldi, the penthouse features a 360-degree view of the water and access to a circular rooftop infinity pool with a water slide. The seventh most ridiculous home on this list is Villa Les Cedres, Saint-Jean-Cap-Ferrat, France, $410 million. This unique manor house with 10 rooms has an Olympic-sized swimming pool, 25 heated greenhouses with 20,000 species, including 14,000 very rare tropical species, as well as an amazing chapel all of which qualifies it as a true corner of paradise. Built in 1830, then purchased in 1904 by Belgium's King Leopold II, this mansion was considered to be the most expensive house on the market in the world when it went up for sale in 2017 for $410 million by David Campari Milano. Set on 35 acres of manicured gardens and named for the cedar trees on the grounds, the 18,000 square foot, 14 bedroom estate boasts an Olympic-sized swimming pool, a large stable, and decadent interiors. The sixth most ridiculous home on this list is Wittenhurst in London, England, $450 million. Built in the early 20th century, this mansion is the second largest residence in London, clocking in at over 90,000 square feet. Wittenhurst houses 65 rooms. The house has been used as a filming location for large and small screen productions, including The Lost Prince, Tipping the Velvet, and Fame Academy. Wittenhurst, London's largest private house, was built between 1913 and 1920 on an 11-acre plot in Highgate, a wealthy hilltop neighborhood north of the city center. First owned by Arthur Crossfield, an English soap magnet, the mansion was designed in the Queen Anne style and contained 25 bedrooms, a 75-foot-long ballroom, and a glass pavilion. The views from its gardens, over Hampstead Heath and across the capital, were among the loveliest in London. For decades, parties at Wittenhurst attracted potentates and royals, including, in 1951, Elizabeth, the future queen. The fifth most ridiculous home on this list is 24 Middle Gap Road, Hong Kong, $447 million. The home itself is 6,200 square feet, but it's not the scale or architectural merit that you're paying for here. Instead, the price tag has everything to do with 24 Middle Gap Road's location in Hong Kong's exclusive peak neighborhood. Indeed, a home in the same area sold for a jaw-dropping $657 million in 2015, a record at the time. Of course, that was five years ago. 
How this third of an acre site will fare remains to be seen. This unique house is located at the exclusive Middle Gap Road, which is probably one of the most sought after addresses in Hong Kong. The living room features a fireplace and the separate dining room located next to the kitchen is ideal for entertaining. The family room, adjacent to the dining room, is ideal for informal dining or as a breakfast room. There is a fifth unsuited bedroom on the ground floor, which can be used as a guest room. The grand staircase at the entrance area leads up to the four bedrooms. All the rooms on the ground floor lead out to the garden. The driveway and garage offer ample parking spaces for the residents and visitor cars. The fourth most ridiculous home on this list is the One Bel Air, California, $500 million. The One is a mega mansion in Bel Air, California, with a 5,500 square foot master suite, a 30 car garage with two car display turntables, a moat, a 400 foot jogging track, 360 degree views of LA, and 26 foot ceilings. At 100,000 square feet, it's downright massive, with 20 bedrooms and 30 bathrooms. The primary suite alone is bigger than most New York City condos. The amenities are just as lavish, with not one but five swimming pools, an in-house nightclub, a six-lane bowling alley, and more. It's a big bet for film producer turned mega mansion developer Niall Niami, who commissioned renowned Los Angeles architect Paul McLean and interior designer Catherine Natandi to design the place seven years ago. The third most ridiculous home on this list is the $750 million Villa Leopolda villefranche sur mer France. The Villa Leopolda was built in 1902 by Belgium's King Leopold II, who gave it as a gift to one of his mistresses. Lebanese banker Edmund Safra bought the estate in 1988 and left it to his widow, Lily Safra, when he died in an arsonist fire in 1999. She's the current owner. The 11-bedroom, 14-bathroom villa sits on 50 acres. It features a commercial greenhouse, outdoor kitchen, pool, and helipad. The villa is owned by the widow, Lily Safra, of Lebanese banker Edmund Safra. It's located in the France Alps Maritime Department of its Côte d'Azur region and occupies approximately 50 acres. It has 11 bedrooms, 14 bathrooms, a commercial greenhouse, a helipad, an outdoor kitchen, and one of the nicest swimming pools you'll ever see. The house's name comes from its original owner, King Leopold II of Belgium, and was redesigned in the 1920s by American architect Ogden Codman Jr. The second most ridiculous home on this list is Antilla, Mumbai, India, owned by Mukesh Ambani, $1 billion. Like many billionaire families, the Ambani's too wanted a magnificently unique and customized residence. Thus began the construction of Antilla, designed by the firm Perkins & Will, named after a mythical island in the Atlantic Ocean, costing over $1 billion and taking over four years to be constructed. With six levels of parking below the ground level, three helipads, a health spa, a salon, a ballroom, a 50-seat movie theater, multiple swimming pools, yoga and dance studios, an ice cream room, car storage, a service station for the cars, a temple, and nine elevators. Maintaining Antilla reportedly requires a staff of about 600. It is the second most expensive house in the world and costs a whopping $1 billion. The property was built for Mukesh, the chairman and managing director of Reliance Industries Limited, a Fortune Global 500 company, and India's richest man. The 400,000 square foot building is positioned in Mumbai's Kumbala Hill neighborhood and stands at an impressive 27 stories high. It's also been built to withstand an earthquake of magnitude 8 on the Richter scale. At number one, the most ridiculous billionaire home in the world is Buckingham Palace, $2.9 billion. Coming in at number one on the list and claiming the title of the most expensive house in the world is Buckingham Palace. The palace is owned by the British royal family and is one of several lavish properties in their portfolio. It is located in the city of Westminster, London, and comprises of 775 rooms, 78 bathrooms, 92 offices, and 19 staterooms. It's been the official residence of the monarchy since 1873. In terms of size, the palace checks in at approximately 828,000 square feet, and the garden alone is 40 acres. However, despite its impressive size and taking the title of the most expensive house in the world, it's still not the largest palace in the world. It's estimated that if the palace were to be put up for sale, it would be somewhere in the region of $2.9 billion, but it's highly unlikely that will ever happen. We hope you enjoyed our list of the 10 most ridiculous homes in the world. Isn't it amazing to think that a house can cost over a billion dollars? It's insane to think for sure, but it's a reality. I hope you learned something from this video. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button below. Like, leave a comment, and we'll see you in the next video.